Hi, yeah, I'm Liz Quinn, um, and I'm here tonight to do the firewalk for the Deborah uh, charity. And I was asked to do it because a friend of mine is doing it, and she bullied us into it one night. We were having a few drinks, um, but since then we found out a little bit about the charity, so we've, we've decided to come along because it's for a great cause. So. I'm doing the fire walk tonight because I think it's a very worthwhile cause and I'm, I'm actually I'm delighted to be part of it. My name is Shane Smith, I'm doing the Deborah Ireland fire walk for Emma Fogarty who's a very good friend of mine and this is nothing compared to what she does every day, she's amazing so this is my small bit just to say well done and try to help and support any way I can for such a great cause. My name's Rebecca Fines and I'm doing the fire work for my brother Aaron who had EB, he would have been turning 30 this September. And I'm also doing it for my mum and dad, who helped found Deborah Ireland. It's a very painful skin disorder and it won't go away until we find a cure. Unfortunately, there isn't a cure made just yet, but it's really painful. A life um, for a kid with EB would be getting dressings done maybe three times a week. Um, bandages, baths, then taking them off, which will be really, really painful for a child. There's three types of them. Uh, some p kids don't even live till they're 30, but um, it's very, very painful. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm the patient of Astro of Deborah Ireland. I'm 31 and I have a recessive dystrophic EB. A typical day, it varies really, on some days, on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays I have my dressings done and that takes three hours and is a, a very painful experience. I'm on a lot of morphine for that pain um, but that doesn't even uh, take away the pain, it just dulls it. Um, and that's done in the morning times. Um, again as well, I'm, I, I have about 10 medications that I take on a daily basis um, and I'm disconnected from a feeding system that I get fed through overnight. And then I try and just continue on with my day. Um, whether that means going out um, to a hospital appointment or just going out for lunch. Um, I try and do uh, as much normal things as possible um, just to try and keep going and stay positive. Okay. Um, my name is Liz Scanlon and I'm Claudia's mum. Um, living each day with uh, epidermal lysis bullosa is absolutely horrendous and to see your child suffering and in pain all the time is like every mother's nightmare. Um, I'm no different than any other parent. I would do anything to take the EB away and for Claudia to be healthy and to be fulfilling all her dreams like any other kid. But at the moment, that's not possible and every day is just a struggle. Deborah Ireland is uh, hugely important to patients like me and Claudia. Um, it, it gives us hope. It gives us something to live for um, and they're a huge support to us. Um, there are days that I've sat in the hospital crying over something that's been going on and they've come out and sat with me and, and listened to me and, and got me through hard days. Um, and to fund research into finding a cure is hugely important. It's, every, it's something that every family dreams of and all we want is to find a cure or something to, to dull the pain or a new bandage or whatever it may be. So Deborah Ireland is, is a hugely important charity. As Emma said, Deborah Ireland gives us hope. It gives us hope of one day maybe finding a cure. Um, if not for our kids, for maybe the next generation, that they won't have to suffer the way Emma and Claudia suffer every day. They also give us huge support. They're like a big family to us. We chose fire walking because it had a lot of similarities to EB. Um, not only was it a mental challenge for people, but it was a physical challenge for people. Um, it can, in the physical challenge sense, it can you can relate it to I get blisters on my feet and I have open wounds on my feet, and by walking on fire, you're going to damage your feet somewhat. So. Um, so walking on fire had some similarities to that. And then a mental challenge in that um, to get through the day, you have to be strong, you have to be tough, and you have to find a way. And to get through something like this, you have to be strong-minded as well. One of the things that I really wanted to get across tonight is to show people in a, a, one of the most powerful metaphors, which is fire walking, um, that anything is possible. And nothing is impossible when you put your mind to it.
Hi, I'm Cheryl Gunning and I work for Deborah Ireland. It was an incredible night. Over 60 people took part, walked over hot coals, um, really to, to find a cure for EB because um, people living with EB go through the pain and suffering every single day of their lives. And I suppose the least we can do is take five steps over hot coals to kind of stand by them. So I'm absolutely blown away with uh, the support this evening and everybody that participated in the fire walk. It was absolutely amazing. They were absolutely amazing, I have to say. They just showed such courage and they were just so psyched for it and uh, totally up for it. And again, massive, massive awareness has been created this evening here.